that covers the basic principles of making and recalling snapshots, so now would be a good time to look at some of the other buttons in the panel. Down the right-hand side are buttons which perform actions on the snapshots. Some of them are obvious. Rename is used for renaming snapshots. Renumber renumbers the snapshot list. To delete a snapshot, touch Delete. Then select one or more snapshots to delete, then press the red Confirm button. While we're looking at this delete function, you'll notice that a small window opens showing Select Range, Select All, Confirm and Cancel buttons. When we're deleting or editing snapshots, we can select individual snapshots, a range of snapshots or all the snapshots to edit or delete. The only one that needs a little explanation is the Edit Range option. This lets you edit or delete a group of consecutive snapshots. Press Edit Range, then touch the snapshot that is the beginning of the group to be edited. Then select the last snapshot of the group, and all the snapshots in between are selected. When we're editing snapshots, this Edit Range function is commonly used to make changes to a group of snapshots. You might need to push just one fader up in all your snapshots, leaving everything else as it was, or change a single AUK send value in just a few snapshots, again leaving all the other programming intact. If we go into Edit Range and select just some of the snapshots in the list, now any changes made in the session will only be written to the selected snapshots. Once the changes have been made, we press the Confirm button to write those changes into the selected snapshots. Remember that only controls that are adjusted while you're in this edit mode are modified. The rest of your programming is left untouched. It's worth remembering that the Edit Range function has to be selected before the changes are made on the console. It's not a retrospective command.